Hazard identification, risk assessment and determination of controls is probably the most critical aspect of implementing um, your actual occupational health and safety management system because you actually first have to identify the hazards within your organisation, then you have to determine how you're going to assess the risks and that may be determining you know, am I going to use a matrix-based system? Is it going to be quantitative, qualitative? Once I've done that, I get an assessment of the risks, and that allows me to determine then the controls that I will need to implement to manage, minimise or reduce those risks. In my opinion, the 18001 hazard identification and risk assessment process is more robust than your normal or general legislative requirement. This is because it is based on the Plan Do Check Act system within 18001. The 18001 Hazard Identification Risk Assessment process will allow you to continuously refer back to your Hazard Identification Risk Assessment process on an ongoing basis, so that is a living, breathing part of the actual system. Therefore, it does not sit still, but it takes into account for the changing circumstances within the organisation in terms of facilities, in terms of people, in terms of equipment. And therefore, this meets the requirement of 18001. There are a number of common failings that I find when auditing the 18001 Hazard Identification Risk Assessment and Determining Control Measures requirement within the, within the Occupational Health and Safety Management System. These are, for example, not implementing the actual control measures that have been identified within the risk assessment. The another one is that not actually communicating the Hazard Identification Risk Assessment to employees so that they are aware of the actual hazards that are involved in the processes that they are working with and the actual control measures that must be implemented to ensure that these hazards and associated risks do not come to fruition.